Beyond the fact that TF2's bot problem affects everyone who plays it, regardless of their history with the game, a point that tends to get brought up a lot is, what do you think new players think when they're greeted with this? This will drive away new players, etc. And as a relatively recent recruit to the fan base, I'd like to give a voice to that hypothetical new player. I first started playing back around the summer update of 2023, as I'm sure plenty of others did. When I started playing, bots were introduced to me as just a part of TF2. If you queue into a bot lobby, just requeue. If a bot joins your lobby, do the courteous thing and vote them out before they cause too much damage to the enemy. It was presented to me less like a rampant issue and more like a game mechanic. An immutable fact that you can't fight and just have to work around. And I accepted it as such because I wasn't given an alternative. I had no point of reference for what it was like without bots, so I just accepted the reality I was presented with at face value. It sucked, but it was what it was. In hindsight though, it's frankly absurd that a game as successful financially as TF2, owned by a company as financially successful as Valve, was ever in a state like this. And I say was, not because it got better, but because it got worse. I did my best to enjoy what I was given, despite its flaws, for months and months. The highs were high, but the lows were definitely low. Then, the bots started to evolve beyond what I had known. Around three or four months ago, I was in a double cross server. We were consistently getting bot joins and doing our best to kick them. It was so bad, we couldn't even play the game most of the time. During the short bursts where we didn't have bots, we started to notice that a few of the other players were acting suspicious. At that point, we realized that both teams had a few cheaters, and we started to kick them too. Eventually, we had kicked everyone we thought was a cheater, and had a moment of peace where the bots had yet to join again, and we were able to play normally. And just then, just when we thought everything was in order, the other shoe fell. All at once, almost the entire server disconnected. Those weren't cheaters, those were bots. We thought they were cheaters because they were talking in the text chat just like any other player. And it wasn't just those supposed cheaters either, it was the supposed players as well. There isn't a single possible reason I could think of for why that many users would all simultaneously disconnect mid-match unless it was a bot network going offline. When all the bots disconnected, the total player count of the server was, I shit you not, two. Me on red and the other player on blue. The server was practically full for upwards of half an hour, and all that time, only two of the players were real. These bots were talking in chat. They were voting out not just bots from other networks, but from their own network as well. These bots were virtually indistinguishable from real players. They aren't just spin bots pathing around the map and headshotting everyone in sight anymore. They've gone all class and learned to act like humans, to blend in and subtly make the game worse for players both old and new, and it works. Their cheats range from blatant crit hacks to believable aim bot, and they're just believable enough to make you feel like they're not cheating and they're just better. It was genuinely scary when this happened. It left me and the other guy in shock. It was like the veil had been torn and every dead internet theory believer was correct. These felt like real players. They were named like real players. They acted like real players. And yet, at the end of the day, none of them were. Something equally as bad, or debatably worse, is that it's not just bots that cheat. You'd hope that if not bots, the human cheaters at least would be brought to justice by some sort of anti-cheat system in the game. But that's not the case. The past couple of weeks, I've encountered a ton of cheaters. Some solo, some duos, where the cheater has their 
likely also cheer pocket meds sucking their dick the whole time, and some full squads where they all cheat together and either defend each other from accusations or start randomly voting out innocent players to keep themselves from being voted out. These cheaters get to pub stomp us and often do so unrivaled. Whether it's the indomitable human spirits wish to believe the best in others or just plain stupid players ignoring the obvious, cheaters rarely get kicked unless they have a vac ban or decide to hard toggle and start spin botting. Step 1 to avoiding getting backstabbed. Turn around on occasion. Yeah, no shit. But when he face stabs you. Step 2. Shoot your teammates. I I knew it was him when he was approaching and I shot him and he still got in me melee range in time and he face stabbed me. He does it consistently. Like that. Like that. Like what just happened to me? I've seen the world's most obvious crit hacking aimbotting spawn campers evade the kick for the dumbest of reasons or sometimes no reason at all. The punishment and removal of cheaters should not be left solely up to the players. That leaves room for human error, malicious behavior, and ways for cheaters to prevent justice, such as having a six stack to outnumber the players who are sure of illegitimate activity and prey on the indecision of those unconvinced. There needs to be an anti-cheat, one that actually functions and takes action on users utilizing third-party enhancements to gain an edge on others regardless of the competency of the rest of the lobby. One that does more than slap cheaters on the wrist and send them back to the title screen with the ability to just queue for another match. We need an anti-cheat to keep the game playable. The bots tend to outnumber us. Sometimes the cheaters do too. Both abuse the game to make our experiences worse. We can't be trusted to have the brain power or the manpower to take care of every cheater or bot that is online at all times. We can't do this alone. And to leave a game in a state like this while still monetizing nearly everything but the download button is just downright lazy and deplorable. At this point, everything you add to the game is made by us. The community is doing the majority of your job for you. The least you can fuck do is the bare minimum of adding an anti-cheat to keep the game playable. I know my best point of reference isn't even a bot-free clean slate, but if I had gotten that double cross game as one of my first games, I wouldn't have continued playing. Not to mention I wouldn't have been able to talk or vote. Allowing these problems to persist is driving away old players and making the game unapproachable for new ones. These are all customers being turned away by your poor business practices and negligent behavior. If you're not going to do it for us, the community, then do it for the money. Do it for whatever reason you want, but for Christ's sake, do it. We're asking for the bare minimum. You have the resources. Do your goddamn job for once and we'll all be happy. Happy, please.